Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some entitled people throwing temper tantrums when they don't get their way. Okay, here is the problem. You told me that there would be wood. Yeah, sorry, it's all gone. Probably because I told you two weeks ago on the phone that if you didn't get it in five days, it was going to be picked up by the neighbors. I spent approximately five dollars in gas to come over here. So if you just Venmo me at blank, then I can let it slide. Oh, can you? Can you let it slide? Clearly you haven't learned to be more giving, even in your adulthood. I barely talk to you as it is, so why are you starting stuff with me when I tried to help you out by offering you free wood? <laughs> I'm having 60 people over at my house and was gonna have them build stuff with me, but you had to be the carrot fruit loop little <coughs> asshole. <coughs> you. you can believe that I won't be having you at the party. Bad word for female dog. Reply, egg, egg, female dog. Bad word for gay person. You know, the best thing about our relationship is knowing that your mother cheated on my father, distancing me from you. Enjoy texting a block number. Female dog. <laughs> I like that. Gotta love family, am I right? Any real employers looking for a worker? Not trying to win popularity contests. I do not work to make friends. So any competitive male dominant field is right up my alley. We'll not pee in a cup or give you a police clearance. <laughs> for the love of God, don't tell me to send a resume if you're not actually going to hire. Sick of employers wasting my time. Just because you sent a resume, that doesn't mean that they're gonna hire you. You're not entitled to an interview or a job by just sending a resume, unfortunately. I wish it were different, but it's not. You know, I find it so ironic. A bunch of people on here <coughs> about billionaires going to space when they could end world hunger. The same people who can't even send $1 to a friend having a very hard time. The hypocrisy is freaking amazing. Oh, so you're holding a fundraiser for people that you know to pay your debt. If even half the people on my friends list donated $1, problem would be solved. You know, I get the stress of being in debt. It's not a good feeling, is it? But other people are in debt too, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure if they had a dollar to put toward your debt, they would probably use it to put toward their own. All right, you could get a job, pick up some extra work. Just offering suggestions. When is someone going to take this seriously? I have no family, no nothing. So my TV is important and no one is taking this seriously. It's been three days now. And unless someone can give me a computer or some iPad, whatever, I'm only 56. How are older people coping without a TV? I'm fuming and upset. So you're throwing a temper tantrum because nobody wants to give you a free computer or laptop. Is that correct? Am I understanding this correctly? Let's read some of the responses. Quack. Through demanding people give you a computer or iPad, there are more serious things going on than losing a few channels. Well said, Mike. Couldn't have put it better myself. Thanks. Arrogant, rude people like this really annoy me. Me too. Me too. $125 female only room for rent. Small furnished room for rent. Female only. Looking for someone that works day shift. Only. Room is for one person only. Well, you already sound like a peach. Would love to live with you. Must be LGBT and cat friendly. Very clean. Cannot tell we have cats. <laughs> The room doesn't include your food. Must have your own transportation. Bus route is in front of our house. Bath and a half to share. Looking for non-smoker. No drugs, alcohol, or drama. <laughs> no drama! This is a drama-free zone! <laughs> Must be clean, sorry, no pets, no visitors. Unless it's your parents, it's not a hotel. The room includes all utilities, AC and internet, and a washer and dryer. No cable, no security deposit. However, must pay two weeks ahead. 250 moves you in. The room is $125 a week. Must pay rent on time. No exceptions. If you're interested, please email me with your name and number and a little bit about yourself. So let me get this straight. For $500 a month, I could essentially pay you to be your child. <laughs> Is that right? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you want? Sounds like hell. Hey, I wasn't able to find another client last night and because the cancellation was not within the 12 hours company name has advised, could you please pay half of the money for the booking? Yes, I will do that and I can meet you and pay cash. The only time this week I had to meet up with you was the time you had booked, so this is the only time I would want an electronic payment. Sorry, if you don't have time to say hello, I don't have time to deal with you. I'm sorry, what? You must see me in person. Talk to me like a human. I demand it. What are you dealing with? I'm just asking for something you agreed upon even to use the site. I've allocated time to you, which you didn't use, and I'm off only two days a week. You used one of those two days by booking. I work 10 hours each day. I don't have the time. I don't know what to tell you. Client service agreement. I understand and agree to all of the following session rules. No sexual activities permitted. Rule number 13. I don't have any money. 
So how are you gonna pay for the session then? Rule number 13 is if you cancel within 12 hours of the appointment, we ask that you pay half of the session price. This is to compensate the pro for lost business as it's unlikely they would be able to find another client for that scheduled period at such short notice. So from one pro to another, and like I'm not in the business anymore, so I don't know if you could call me a, a pro, but past pro, get a deposit like within two or three days of making the appointment or whatever they do, get a deposit. If they don't give you a deposit, they don't get to book. And it's non-refundable. Non-refundable deposit. I learned this the hard way. People don't give <laughs> Literally zero <laughs> are given. That it costs that much and it takes me <laughs> hours. Costs that much because it takes me <laughs> hours. By the way, I just wanted to shout out Wodu Designs for making that song. Um, it's not me that invented that song. Uh, I didn't write that. I saw it on TikTok. So uh, shout out to Wodu Designs because um, I feel like that's kind of like the theme song of my entitled videos. Yeah, I do. You wanting to commission me? Yeah, what is commission by the way? So I charge 30 quid for a cartoon anime drawing or 80 quid for a realism drawing. That is like my monthly income. Get blocked, buddy. Okay, your monthly income. <laughs> Uh, do you walk into like a store and demand that you get things for free? No, you don't. So why are you doing it from a person? Did you charge back? Why would you do that? I didn't like it. Yes, you did. You said so cute exactly like I asked. Thanks so much, babe. I can send you the screenshot. It's literally right up there. Okay, I will be blocking you if you don't stop harassing me. <laughs> huh? Blocking me for harassing you? You scammed me for my work. You asked me to change the entire idea of the painting at least four times, and I still restarted with a whole new picture that you were indecisive about again and again. You want a huge canvas. You wanted me to paint your stupid, ugly family. I spent all the money on paints and spent a whole week and a half on it, and now you're suddenly charging me back for the whole thing even after you said you liked it? You even posted it. You're charging me back that too, four months after the painting has been sitting in your home? This doesn't look like a, I didn't like it. Excuse me? I'll be reporting you. Take Take your stupid painting, I'll ship it back to you. It's literally of you and your ugly family. What am I supposed to do with that? Hang it in my house and look at you? I want a refund. A refund? After you already got the money? Yep, send me $155 and I'll send you back the money. What is wrong with you? You're not gonna send the money. What, what the hell is going on? What, what is wrong? I agree, what is wrong with you? <laughs> You're insane. Entitled people are insane. Hello. Hope you are well. I'm afraid I would like to return the knife and get a full refund, thank you. Hello, Daniela. Can you please tell me what exactly is wrong with the knife? I just want to know what we did wrong. You did nothing wrong. The blade is gorgeous and the quality is beyond my expectations. But you see, for me, it's crucial that the objects I bring into my home have the right energy. I am a spiritual healing coach. I have a very strong connection to the energy flows around me since it's my job to redirect them in a right way. And that's the problem here. I'm a bit confused. The knife I sent has wrong energy? <laughs> if only your blade had a wrong or polluted energy, that wouldn't be a problem. I would bring back its balance, but it has no energy at all. You sent me a dead object, a shell without a soul. So what about a refund? Hello, I contacted PayPal and Etsy and want to learn their policy about making refunds for items with bad energy or with no energy at all. Are you mocking me? I'm dead serious. I genuinely want to know if this is a thing. Can you imagine? You walk into like H&M and you're like, this shirt has really bad energy. I'm gonna need you to take it back. This shirt is like 10 years old. Yeah, it's just not for me. I'm looking for good energy, you know, good chi to bring into my house. I'm gonna need the money back. <laughs> Hello, is Nintendo Switch Bundle brand new $300 still for sale? Yes, it's still for sale. Are you interested? Yes, but $300 is a little too much. I was thinking more like $100 cash. Um, no, it's brand new sealed. It comes with two games which are also sealed. You can buy a Switch with no games at the store for more than this price, not even including taxes. All I have is 100, take it or leave it. I already said no, it's brand new and sealed. Okay, what if you remove the plastic from it and sell it to me for $100 since it won't be new anymore? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Why would anyone do that? No logical person would ever do that. I would like to buy your XL pet carrier for $10. No thanks, $40 is lowest. Okay, I will offer you $12, not one penny more, sir. You are hilarious. That thing sells for over $200 in the store. I'd rather throw it in the trash before I sell it that cheap. Okay, where are you located so I can go and get it from the trash? Thank you. <laughs> 
This is so funny. You're so funny. You guys are so funny. <laughs> I like how they assume that it's gonna be outside in the trash. Hi, I see you're selling that secret Cheryl beautiful card. What brings you to sell it? Hi, financial trouble, sadly. Just need some gas to get to work this week. I figured this could be a quick way. I see, do you have a PayPal for accepting payments? I do. Please ignore the dead name on the account. I've not yet been able to legally change it. I go by Evelyn now. Will do, Evelyn. Do you think you could take $10 for the card shipped instead of 30? I saw market price is $19. This price would be the quickest sell you get. I could do $23, which is $19 plus shipping, but I can't can't go as low as 10, sorry. Come on, gas isn't that expensive. This is like one of the last 20 cars I need to complete my set. This should be enough to get you through the week. 23 is just being a bit greedy. Hello? Okay then, dead name. Frick you too. I try to give you the fastest money and you reject it. I try being kind, but no, you don't wanna take it. Dead name, you are not and will not ever be a woman. Women are kind and gentle. What you've shown here today was not gentle and ignoring people is not kind. So you do not get to be a woman. <laughs> Goodbye. I have your real name now from PayPal. I'm gonna out you to your family since it looks like they don't know. They'll find out their son is, I'm not gonna say that word. Respectfully. You're an asshole. All right, I think that's enough for today. I'm tired, I'm tired. They've taken everything out of me today, guys. Subscribe!